This is V from a Canadian RVer. What I'm doing in this video is showing you another improvement I did and this is basically all the Georgetowns I've noticed, uh, especially the, um, the XLs, they have a TV in the back bedroom and um, the problem here was that the TV works great and it was in a place where I've always wondered what's behind it because a lot of the TVs that Forest River was putting in, um, you couldn't move them, you couldn't do anything with them. So I've always... So what I decided to do was remove the TV. Now I'm not going to show you everything step by step because it was kind of tight to uh, video in here and I was going in and out all the time. But So let me show you where I started. First of all, right in there, you can see there's a hatchway which leads into the back of the TV. This is where our washer dryer is. And there's also another access point on this side. And I'll see if I can get through this point here and show you that. So there's the, the access panel. You can just see the edge of it right there. And um, let me see if I can turn on some light. There we go, that's a little better. So there's the access panel that got me into the back of the TV. Let me just turn the light off again. So let's go back to what I did with the TV. First thing I did is I found a piece of wood that matched very closely to the wood that I had in here. Now it's not 100% but again you don't really see it behind the TV. So I'll go to the other side right now. Here I'm back on the other side and I just wanted to show you what I did. So I took that piece of wood right there and I measured the holes that were on the back of the TV that supported the old piece of wood. And then what I did is I drilled the same size of screw or the same uh, distances apart on this piece of wood. Now, the challenge was how do I get behind it and, and, and make it uh, very accessible? So what I did is I went up there, you can see I put a hinge on both sides. And what you're looking at is the uh, left hand hinge. And then right at the bottom here, I also had to keep it from bouncing when we're driving. So what I did do is I put two little latches right there and you can see I've just unlatched it. And I'll go to the other side. And I have another latch right there on this side. So we're just gonna pull that forward, center it up and move it over. Now, what you can do with the TV is this is really too cool. Because you can take it and look at the space that was behind it. it was an enormous amount of space and on this side too. So the TV was basically sitting on that piece of wood right there and screwed to the side. So once I removed everything, I got access to all this space inside and you can put all kinds of different components up there but the nice thing about it is when you close it all up you tuck back your wires and then I, I bring it down just to make sure all the wires are in here I'm trying to do it all with one hand There we go, all the wires are back on this side. Then I just bring it down to this part here, and then I just latch it right there. So again, it's, it's pretty solid when you put both latches on. Just move that out to there, bring the little latch over. So there you go, now it's, it's solid. You can't move it that easy. And there's the hinge on the other side. So really what I've done, is I've made this TV um, the ability to, to move it off the wall other than using a frame or a stand just by getting a piece of wood 
and mounting the TV on the wood and having the wood hinge so you can move it out. Now, I know a lot of RVs did do that in the Forest River line, but the Georgetown XLs, I believe, did not do it. And they had the TV that was mounted on a piece of wood and with the two access panels, that's the only way to get to it. So that's one of my improvements and it's working great for us. We got the TV and we got a ton of storage. So here's a shot uh, looking from the entrance door and uh, that's what our TV looks like in our back bedroom on our Georgetown XL Black Diamond.